I used to be the person living at the bottom of the fucking barrel thinking that, you know, I was going to attract high quality people in my life. But on the contrary, I was doing the complete opposite. And that lifestyle, that's exactly what I needed. And I'm not a hypocrite. I'm not judging because at the end of the day, this is who I'm speaking to. I'm speaking to the people that come from where I come from. I'm speaking to the people that are in the transition from coming from that life into this life. I just know the importance of knowing that there is a better way. There's a better life to live. Welcome to the new series of how to become a high value man. If you haven't watched none of the series prior to this, I can guarantee you're not going to want to miss it. Just skim through them. Whichever title, whichever topic of that video resonates with you, take a listen. This is going to be life advice you're not going to find nowhere else. I can guarantee it because most people haven't been through what I've been through and have overcome it to the level that I have. All right. So a high value man does not attract low quality women or low quality people for that matter and vice versa. High quality, high value women do not attract low quality men or low quality people into their life. Next video, we're going to speak about how I did it and how I followed the people, the mentors, the guys that I followed to become just that. But in this video, I just want to bring this to your attention. And a lot of you probably think, oh, you know, what? I carry myself in this way, but it doesn't present itself. Outwardly, it doesn't you're not a representation of that, right? High value men like myself might catch the attention of a lot of women, right? But guess what? I don't have women throwing themselves at me, regardless of my look or the status that I have, because of how I carry and conduct myself. This is something that you have to really think about, right? As a woman who wants to attract their dream man, their dream guy, or men that want to attract, you know, this fucking rare diamond of a woman but your characters don't reflect that right your character traits don't reflect that your actions the way that you carry yourself the way that you show up every single fucking day in all aspects of your life doesn't reflect that so how do you expect to attract or gravitate towards that you understand and that's what i had to change remember where i come from i come from this i used to be the person living at the bottom of the fucking barrel thinking that, you know, I was going to attract high quality people in my life. But on the contrary, I was doing the complete opposite. And that lifestyle, that's exactly what I needed. And I'm not a hypocrite. I'm not judging. All right. Because at the end of the day, this is who I'm speaking to. I'm speaking to the people that come from where I come from. I'm speaking to the people that are in the transition from coming from that life into this life. All right. I just know the importance of knowing that there is a better way. There's a better life to live. And it all starts with you wanting to do that for yourself. Before you think you're going to get in rooms with people, before you think you're going to be able to converse with people about, you know, quality shit, whatever it is, whether it be business, whether it be anything that you think that, and your thought pattern right now, what you're thinking that works for the people or the environments that you're in, it's not going to work for the people that you desire to be around. So as crazy as it sounds, because I used to like that nightlife. I used to like going. I used to like to get attention from the woman, respect from the fellas. You're going to have to stop doing the shit that you like. I know that sounds contradicting and it's not about being fake. It's about forcing yourself to separate yourself from doing the things or from the people that you're accustomed to from your upbringing, right? From the people that you just grew up around. Unfortunately, not everyone is going to continue this journey with you. That's if you want to grow. That's if you're trying to evolve. That's if you're trying to attract better shade to your life. All right, so this is just an introduction to this series, How to Become a High Value Man. This is going to be a very, very interesting series, something that I wanted to speak about, something different, you know, not always speaking about, you know, the crime organization or my, you know, uh, uh, experience while being incarcerated. Um, this is something that I am speaking to you now from my now life, which I've been going real hard for, for almost 10 years. All right. So make sure you guys watch this series. If this resonates with you, drop a hundred in the chat, drop your comments, drop your thoughts. Remember, remember my 
My content is made for you guys. It revolves around who I speak to every day. And that's where my message goes towards. That's where my message goes, goes towards, towards you. So if this is something that you're watching on the backdrop and you're not trying to engage, you're not trying to open up, I know a lot of you uh, reach out to me after I engage with you first, don't be that fucking person. That's the most detrimental thing that I did to my growth was afraid to ask for help. And then I realized it wasn't necessarily asking for help or getting the help. It was just me not having the courage, me not having the confidence to believe in myself that I will succeed when I ask for help. All right, let's go power up.